So it seems as though John Fury is cognizant of the backlash that his son Tyson has received for suggesting that he could fight Manuel Cha in December or even Derek Chisora. So John Fury in an interview has put some more credible names forward, the likes of Andy Ruiz, Luis Ortiz, and even Philip Hergovic. Now, out of those three, I would not want to see Tyson Fury fight Luis Ortiz, although it's still better than Manuel Cha, possibly better than Chisora, well, definitely better than Chisora if you take into account the fact that Tyson Fury's already beat Chisora twice, so who wants to see a third fight? But really and truly, the fights that are far more interesting and far more credible are Andy Ruiz and Filip Hergovic. Those two fights right there, you could not complain if Tyson Fury was to fight any one of them in December. Now, some people might say Ruiz probably won't be ready by December because Ruiz was, in a recent interview, asked about whether he would fight Tyson Fury in December. He, and he said he wouldn't be ready because he's on holiday and he's doing this, that, and the other with his family. And we know that Andy Ruiz is somebody who struggles to back away from the buffet table. So, you know, maybe there will be an issue in terms of getting in the right shape for Tyson Fury on December 3rd. Of course, other people will point out the fact that he took the AJ fight on relatively short notice, but not really because he just fought Dimitrenko. And I think he'd had like a seven week training camp for Dimitrenko. And he only had a week off or about 10 days before accepting the AJ fight. So, you know, all this stuff about him taking the fight on three weeks notice against AJ, that's a load of rubbish. He didn't actually take it on three weeks notice. He actually had a six or seven week camp for Dimitrenko and about a week off. And then he had about a four or five week camp for AJ. So it, it, he was actually in great shape for, for him and in a great position to go straight into the AJ fight because he was sharp from the Dimitrenko fight, which only lasted a couple of rounds, right? He do that, had a whole training camp for that. Whereas the Luis Ortiz fight was several weeks ago now. So it wouldn't quite be the same for Ruiz. You know, he, he wouldn't quite have the same momentum if he was to take a Tyson Fury fight as he had going into the AJ fight. But nevertheless, it's still a good opponent for Tyson Fury to be fighting. It's still a credible opponent from world heavyweight champion, guy who obviously knocked out Anthony Joshua. And the other name there, Philip Hergovic. I mean, that's very, very credible. I know Hergovic struggled against Jelly Zhang. He freely admits that he underestimated Jelly Zhang. And maybe Zhang just has a style that's difficult for Philip Hergovic. But Hergovic is you know, a fighter, I think, that has a lot of potential. He's a fighter that's had a good amateur background. He was in the WSB and so on. And I think that against Tyson Fury, it would be intriguing. Because, see, the thing about Hergovic He's not a Vladimir Klitschko. He's not a guy who's going to go in there and be afraid to throw punches. He'll let his hands go if he fights Tyson Fury. Win or lose, he'll let his hands go and he'll give Fury something to think about. Uh, will Fury be able to go in there and bully him because of the fact he was able to bully Deontay Wilder? Remember, Philip Hergovic is a big guy. He's not as big as Fury. He's not as tall as Fury. He's not as heavy as Fury. Hergovic, I think, for the Zhang fight came in, what was it, the 240s? low 250 so he's quite a bit lighter than Tyson Fury remains to be seen whether he has that kind of physical strength but he's got a good chin I'll say that about Filip Hergovic he can punch and he normally lets his hands go in aggressive fashion so yeah it's definitely a fight I'd like to see and if Tyson Fury has a win over Filip Hergovic on his resume that's the kind of thing you want that's the kind of thing that is ultimately if you continue having wins like that gonna build a hall of fame all-time great legacy uh, even beating an Andy Ruiz, those kind of guys. Not the Manuel Charles of the world, not the Derek Chisoras, but the Hergoviches, the Ruizes, the Michael Hunters, and maybe even future, his former sparring partner, Jared Anderson. Those are the kind of guys. So that's my take on Tyson Fury's potential next opponent. Hopefully, John Fury isn't just capping when he comes out with these names. And we'll get one of these guys rather than getting a Manuel Char or a Derek Chisora. See, the thing about Manuel Char or Derek Chisora is that they're going to accept, particularly Char, terms which the other fighters probably wouldn't accept. And that makes it easier to make those fights. When you're up against a guy who really has nowhere else to go, he doesn't really have that much pulling power compared to you. When you're a guy in one of those positions there, you're not going to be too, too fussy about the nego negotiations. Maybe Derek Chisora will be a little fussy, 
but he's not going to be as fussy as an Andy Ruiz, a former world heavyweight champion. Do you know what I mean? He's not going to demand that he gets treated in the same way that a Ruiz would, for obvious reasons. And I'm not complaining with uh, the potential for Ruiz making more demands than a Derek Tazora would make, because he's earned the right to do that. But if you're trying to be cynical and you're trying to play funny games and manipulate the perception of the public, you could just throw names out there like Ruiz and Helgovich and have no intention of fighting them and just use their name for clout. Offer them awful contracts, the kind of contract that Manuel Char would happily sign. But you know that that's not the right kind of contract to be sent into an Andy Ruiz. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying that Tyson Fury or his team is going to do that. Maybe it will never even get to the contract stage. But I'm just cognizant of the fact that Fury and his team like to play games. I know Eddie Hearn and Joshua have taken a leaf out of Fury's book lately, and they're starting to play games now. Because to my mind, they clearly don't fancy the Fury fight at this stage, but they're trying to play the public. They're trying to you know, manipulate things to make it look like it's Team Fury that don't want it rather than you know, AJ and his team that don't want it. In any event, I've done a separate video about that. In this instance, let me know what you guys think about the potential opponents for Tyson Fury in December. Andy Ruiz, Philip Hergovich, do you think these are realistic? Even Luis Ortiz? Or do you think it's just uh, John Fury trying to save face because Tyson has already received an awful amount of criticism from the public by suggesting he could fight Manuel Char and Derek Chisora? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.